So Civil Engineering Science Department is part of the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment uh, located at Oakland Park Campus. It is one of the largest in South Africa. It's home to staff that are actively involved in cutting-edge research. The department has four divisions, structural, geotechnical, transportation, water, and environmental engineering. So the department maintains strong links with industry and the professional associations. The civil engineering program is accredited by a professional body, uh, EXA, that is Engineering Council of South Africa. EXA visits every five years and they check the quality of education and they give the accreditation. We have different industry advisory boards like SIC, uh, WRC, Randwater, etc. Civil Engineering Science has undergraduate and postgraduate programs. The B Inch program is a four year program. It has a fundamental or core discipline knowledge areas, uh, which are covered in first and second year. The specialist knowledge areas like structures, geotech, transportation in the water are mostly covered in third and fourth year. Admission requirements, the minimum AP score is 32. Uh, of course, me, uh, level five is required for mathematics, English, and the physical sciences. So you need a background knowledge uh, from high school in mathematics, English, and the physics. The department requires some personalities and interests uh, to pursue the career, someone who is critical thinker, creative and who is good in calculation and interest to make a difference in the life of others. So a civil engineering graduate can pursue a career in, in one of the following. Uh, it can be structural engineering, a geotechnical engineer, transportation engineer, it can be water engineer, environmental engineer, marine engineer, and design engineer. So civil engineering graduates can be employed in different organizations like the government departments, like Department of Water Affairs, provincial and local municipalities, construction companies, mining companies, engineering or architectural firms like Sanral, ESCOM, SASOL, CSIR, etc. They can be also employed in universities or they can be self-employed or they can work as consultants. Civil engineering profession is well recognized internationally. Some of our graduates are working in different companies in different parts of the world, like Australia, Europe, Dubai, etc. Civil engineering is all about helping people and shaping the world, make a life easier and make a difference in this world. Students are exposed to different practicals, like strengths of structures, the soil compaction test, tensile strength test, materials test, discharge measurements, etc. Oh, this is our dynamic trial. It's used to evaluate the soil deformation and also the strength under, of the soil under different loading. So the loading system that is normally we get from this is from the earthquakes, uh, passing vehicles and also the wind and train. So we only have a few in the, in the country. We have a final year project, especially the capstone design project and the final year project investigations. The capstone design project, students are applying the knowledge of structures, hydraulics, geotech and transport. Part of your engineering BNG four-year degree, in your fourth year you have to do a honours project. So that's why we can we graduate with honours. Um, okay, so for my project, this is the QUV accelerated weathering tester. This is a machine that I have to use for my project. I'm testing uh, polymer concrete for UV resistance. So this machine is really cool because it replicates what the sun does outside and how it, but it accelerate, accelerates it by like however many hours you need it to. Uh, so in here is where you would put your specimens. So I'm using this machine to, to uh, replicate what the sun does outside, but 
inside here at an ex accelerated uh, pace and time. Um, I'm testing polymer concrete that could possibly use to repair potholes. The finally, capstone design project, especially the how train project, is the best project. Students are exposed to the specialized core subjects of the departments. They are exposed to the real design applications of geotech structures, hydraulics, and transports. Our students are getting some achievement and awards. Uh, the student goes the SIC student chapter of the year for the years 2020, 2021, and 2022. The judges indicated that UJCB 2021 report was the best report ever received from a student society. Our courses or modules are in alignment with UJ's 4IR and SDG visions. Some of our modules are in alignment with 4IR and SDG. For example, uh, we incorporated 4IR and SDG into some of our modules like geotech and hydraulics. This is Polika Poji. Uh, I'm a Ugandan, so that makes me an international student. This is my fourth year of studies and I'm doing engine civil engineering uh, it has been a very challenging course and but very interesting at the same time pursuing what I've always dreamt of as a as a kid um, it has been a difficult journey but I'll be finishing soon and uh, this couldn't have been done without the help of the university hi everyone my name is Ishana Rianshod I'm a student here at university at the University of Johannesburg uh, I am doing my MNG first year this year that's um, my master's in civil engineering and currently I'm also involved uh, in the UJ civil student society I am the chairperson of 2022 um, here at the society what we do is we try and bridge that gap between what we learn in the class and what actually happens in the industry my name is Kim I am an international student currently studying BNG Engineering. I am in my third year and I'm also part of the committee of this club, UJ Civils. I'm Tando Polo Gobeni. I'm doing my second year in BNG Civil Engineering. I'm a member of UJ Civils and we do quite a lot of stuff at the club. We have fun basically. It's a getaway from the hardships of school. So if you do decide to come to UJ, you're more than welcome to come to UJ Civils because we welcome anyone from any faculty. If you want to be part of the team that makes global impact, apply now. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.